Okay, welcome to another Galaxy Note video. And we got a HTC Desire right next to it with a 3.7 inch corner to corner screen there against a 5.3 inch. Now I'm not going to bother doing a comparison because that would be uh, pointless, I think. Um, this one here has got a single core processor, and this one's got a dual core. So I think we know which is going to be the fastest. So I'll just put this to one side. And what we're going to do on here today is take a look in a couple more applications. I think we'll take a look into the music uh, player. As you can see, it's uh, all the songs. It's, uh, all alphabetically uh, down the side, uh, A to Z. So you can just scroll down to the track you want. Or of course, you could use your finger and just search for it. And use a stylus a minute, tap on. And you can just find whatever song you want in one click if you want to do. Of course you could use your finger as well. Just tap on it and it'll take you uh, more or less to the exact track you're looking for. You know? Or you can just slide down, it's up to you. Of course um, all the pay playlists then are up there. We've got quick list top tunes, recently played, got albums, artists, and Jenna Zen on the end. So, my opinion is, uh, the Galaxy Note uh, in 5.1 surround sound is uh, on the headphones. It's absolutely amazing, the sound. When I compare it to uh, the HTC Desire, and, uh, no comparison. The Samsung wins. Hands down. Just come out of there a minute. Let's take a quick look uh, at the videos. I'll just scroll down again. Thumbnails. lists and folders it's all in there so just come out of that let's try the news republic application recently been uh, updated so let's uh, take a quick look in there let's try the celebrity like this uh, this works even better than it used to uh, before the update. It's uh, seamless and it's a uh, it's a much better update compared to the previous. Uh, should we just tap on one? Of course, if you want to uh, send, then it's all on the bottom: Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus. Tap on. And they're all there. Come back out of there. Of course, you can also do it on the top there. Tap on there. 
and share article, save article, related topics, change the font size, change the, the wording. And uh, more or less just scroll through there. It's a really, uh, really quick app for getting news and uh, passing it on, sharing it with your friends. It's a fantastic update compared to the previous. So I'm just coming out of there. Pressing the menu key then on the bottom brings up uh, settings as you can see sort by date, sort by mood, videos only, home screen topic, activate notifications, data topics. Yeah, so we'll just come out of there now. And of course the search is in there as well, tap on search. And you can search for an article then. If we just come out of there. So that's the News Republic app. Let's try the BBC News website. That looks pretty good on there. Looks rather nice on the 5.3 inch screen there. Zoom in. Double tap. Try it again. Click on. Currently using uh, BT Broadband, Total Broadband. It's a very good uh, service. Um, never seem to have a problem with it really. And uh, getting good download of uh, up to about 6 megs per second. And the upload it varies. It's uh, up to about 2 megabits sometimes. So that's the BBC News app on a 5.3 inch screen. Looking uh, quite nice. Of course, if you want to, uh, any bookmarks. They're all there. Tap in the bookmark. Of course your history. All the history is there. So if we just go back. Let's tap the back key. Straight back into it. If you want to um, come out of that and uh, check your history, just press the back key. Keep it on there. And then you've got uh, all your searches and all the pages you've been visiting. And if you want to, you can just delete them. So press the menu key and then clear history. Tap that and it clears the web history, the browser history. So that's done. Press the back key, come out of there. Press the home key then to come out. So that's the BBC News uh, app for Android. It's uh, Samsung's cal calendar. Settings on here then you can set the timeout. Various uh, the screen to turn itself off. Ranging from 15 seconds up to 10 minutes, just by tapping it. So that's that's handy, and of course you got the brightness on you as well. So that's the uh, Galaxy Note there. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, by all means uh, leave a comment if you like, and. Um, Keep an eye out for uh, any further videos.